How's it going everyone? Obviously I had to get a coffee first, nice Costa. So today, me and Dan are going to go and take some pictures. He's done a little bit of research, I think we're going to go to a place just outside Daventry, take some photos of a manor, and then we are going to try and go to another place on the way back. And then what I'll do is I'll jump into uh, Photoshop and Lightroom and show you how I edit my photos. You'll see just how that gets done. But for now, roll intro. So here we are. Dan has brought us to some random manor called Cannon Ashby. So we're going to get some cool pictures of this. And if it's rubbish, next location. What do you reckon, Dan? <laughs> so let's see what pictures we can get today. Hopefully, some cool ones. So it turns out we have to pay to get in this place. That's one damn. <laughs> it looks nice. It does. But we only paid to be in the gardens and the outside of the manor. So we'll see what's around here. See if we can get any cool pictures. The sun keeps coming in and out, so it's really annoying for the light. But it's all part of the fun. Hey. So we've got, oh yeah. Here's the, here's the manor house. Yeah. Which will make a cool photo, I reckon. Hi. So we're just going to wait for these people to get out of the way so we can get a good photo. And then uh, try and set it up nicely. But we'll see. Over there. Over where? Oh, there's like a scarecrow. Oh, no thing. Yeah, there's a scarecrow in the thing. Alrighty, time to get some pictures. We'll come back to getting them pictures of the manor, the people are using their binoculars to try and see whatever's in the distance. Doesn't look like there's much out there. However, Dan, Dan's getting some shots of the scarecrow. Nah, I hate this, this what's name. What? What's triggering me? What's triggering you? It, it kept accidentally zooming in. Oh. <laughs> so. Oh yes, Dan, the people are moving. Let's go. The people are now leaving the manor. Out the front of the manor so we can get some photos. I reckon about here is going to be a good shot. Let's see. Oh yeah, some nice little games. Oh, it must be, yeah. What does it say? We've just seen this cool little tree Happy as well, game. which we'll get some pictures of. From this angle, it doesn't look very cool, but... It's quite cool. Got some games here. Please have a go. Put our games back for others to enjoy. Dominoes. Not some crosses, but just the crosses. Dan's going to have a go. I broke it. You did what, Dan? I broke it. It's just, just been a, my attempt. I broke it. I broke it too. It's not very good. Oh, look at me go. <laughs> so what happened here is I've made a fatal mistake and not charged my batteries. So luckily I have a spare one 
but it's only got half a battery so hopefully we'll get some more good pictures still. Here's a Pied Piper. Dan has wandered off. Oh. <laughs> Dan? Dan's hiding. <laughs> Where did you go? I was just hiding. Oh. <laughs> no, I was walking around and you were walking around like the same way. Did you see me walking? No. <laughs> Alrighty. Did you get any pictures? Got a couple. A couple of pictures. With my fresh new camera. Oh, yeah. What is it? It's a Canon US M100. Very nice, Dan. So we've got some cool shots of the miner. We're now going to go and see if we can find a way to get to the church. That bad boy over there. Let's go and get some more photos. Not that way then. <laughs> Oh, a nice little sundial. Oh, oh yeah. That's mad. Yeah. Time is 12 o'clock. How do you do it without getting in the way of it? It's not as 10 past 12, but sure. Yeah. Go on, Dad. Yeah, it's super bright today. So glad the rain did clear up because it was looking a bit wet and miserable. However, I've just seen a teepee, is that? Looks like a a wooden a wooden mess. A wooden a wooden mess. Let's go see it. Should we go see? Let's go see the wooden mess. It's this thing over here. It's obviously somewhere for the kids to play. Give the parents five minute break. pictures here and you walked into that branch we're now gonna go into Daventry where neither of us have been before and uh, try and get some different sort of shots try a different style of photography and uh, and to see how we come out with them Dan's I mean whatever sort of parking that is he's like slid onto the grass there but he parked there because there's another Yaris So we just got home, it was a pretty good day, pretty successful, um, however we only got to photograph the one place, um, the second place we went to was, well for one, we didn't have any change for the car park, uh, we only had our bank cards and the machine was a bit ancient and only took coins which we didn't have any at all, probably about 2p, so that was no good so we couldn't go there. Also, it was pretty similar in terms of scenery for what we'd already shot earlier on. So we decided to uh, give up with that one and uh, we just came home. So what I'm going to do now instead is I'm going to hop on into Photoshop and then into Lightroom and uh, show you my editing process. And then uh, I'll also show you how I edited this photo. And uh, we'll edit a couple of others as well and then you can uh, Sort of get a feel or see how I do my edits. Just hop into Photoshop and get editing. Okay, so now you've got your Photoshop open, we're going to go on to the original or the main image that you'd like. I'm going to put Dan in the middle of the lens there. So there's two ways of doing this. You can come over to the pen tool and make a circle. Probably require four points 
drag it out to make it round and then you can hit alt on your keyboard and that will eliminate the curve so it draws a straight line again and drag it out to suit the next curve and so on but we're going to do it an easier way and that's to use the elliptical marquee tool so we're going to click and hold shift drag it out to the size you require about the size of the ND filter I have on my camera so once you've got it to the size of the ND filter just reposition it like so and head over to at the top it says feather I normally put it on about two pixels max just to make it a little bit softer so that when you delete it it's not such a hard shape or hard cutout delete that so now you can just see nothing in the background because there's no image behind it so then we get the picture of Dan drag over drop it on top and zoom out a little bit so you can see then we get the layer of Dan position a little bit better and then drag it below the main image and you'll see him appear in the background of the lens there again reposition him make him look so he's central of the lens hit ctrl T scale it down a little bit turn the top layer back on reposition him again perfect you can add a couple of adjustments if you like to in Photoshop adjust the brightness etc just to make it look so it's a little bit more like a reflection more than just an image underneath an image but the main edits will do in Lightroom well main edits I tend to do in Lightroom so I'll show you those as well. obviously you can adjust the curves etc about there create a little less bend makes it a little bit better and once you're happy with that and how it looks we'll come over to the top hit file save as I normally just save it as a tiff just because it makes it better for when the when we open it up in Lightroom once you've opened up Lightroom import the new image you've made go over to the develop tab and there we are there's the image from Photoshop okay so we come over to the exposure drop that down a little bit because it was a bit sunny but overcast at the same time so we'll drop it down make it a little bit more moody bring the contrast up a little bit drop the highlights bring them back up a little bit set the shadows up a little bit drop the whites a tiny bit bring the blacks up bring the whites up bring the blacks up bring the clarity up a little bit make it a little bit harder bring the blacks, blacks down a bit more bring the shadows up again bring the vibrance down a little bit take a little bit of the colour out makes it easier for when we change the colours up later on bring the blacks back up a little bit drop the whites a little bit more you can play around with these because obviously it depends on your image as I go I might tweak them just to make it suit as I do my edits and we come down to the tone curve put a small S in there and almost bring the exposure up a little bit the highlights up a little bit sorry the shadows down then we come down to the HSL slash color tab now in, in this image we want mainly the oranges out so we can drop the saturation of pretty much all the colors not quite to 100 but near enough boost the orange a little bit not too much and then we can drop the yellows down greens down and the greens down pretty much take the saturation out of all the colours except the orange and bring up the luminance of the orange a little bit tiny bit on the yellow so as you can see at the minute it's keeping it that sort of grey grey tint with a bit of a little bit of orange in there and the yellow, a tiny bit of yellow then we come over to the split toning tab bring the hue up to about 38 boost the saturation a little bit and then come to the shadows take that right up to about 2.23 around there bring the saturation up and come down to the noise reduction tab bring the luminance up about 14 detail pretty much stays as it is and then work your way down to the calibration tab this is where the colours really start to change so bring the hue up on the red primary all the way to 100 saturation drop just a little bit at the minute it looks very orange and sort of white grey bring the green primary right up and bring up the saturation just a bit and we drop the blue hue to about 80 81 
take the saturation out a little bit so it's not so bright and there we have it you can tweak the exposure a little bit bring it down a bit more make it a little bit darker and there we go over to file export and then export it to wherever you wish to in your desired folder so there you have it guys that's exactly how I edit my photos uh, as you'll probably see in some of them on my Instagram already um, and if not obviously make sure you're following me as I said earlier and also if you like the content give it a thumbs up like it comment on it subscribe all the usual things you know um, obviously give it a share to all your friends family make them watch it and obviously I'll see you on the next one peace Thank <laughs> you.